What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on the new taskbar on the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Fold 3 and maybe even Z Fold 2 if you've received the update. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. So first of all, the taskbar is when you open up an app, you have this row of apps at the bottom there that you can open up and easily multitask with. Now, I'll show you where it is. First of all, turn it on and off. So you swipe down, go into the gear at the top right to bring up settings. Next thing you want to do is go down to display. Once you're in display, you're going to see taskbar. There's an on off switch right there. I have it off now so you don't see it. If I turn it back on, you can see it. Tap where it says taskbar right here once you have it on. And one of the things you'll see is you can see show recent apps. You can turn that on or off. Basically, it opens up and shows the last two apps that you had open. So for me, it is Google Play Store and the Google app. And if I open up something else, let's just say I open up my Tesla app. So I have my Tesla app, I'm gonna hit home. I'll bring up the Google Play Store. And now I have Tesla app as one of the apps open under there as well as my settings. So those are the last two apps I was on. I like having recent apps. If you don't like having that on there, for one of those reasons, you can turn it off within that taskbar app. Next, this is another one where it says you can hide the navigation bar, the taskbar, when you have gesture navigations on. So let me switch over to gesture navigations because currently I'm using the, you know, the back button, the home button, and the recent app buttons, ones you just press on. So to change your navigation bar, to show you what I'm talking about, go into settings, display navigation bar, and go into swipe gestures hit the home and then we're home now. So now that I'm in here, I'll just open up an app, press and hold on a blank spot within the taskbar and you can auto hide it if you want. You can see it's now auto, auto hide it. And now if I press and hold again, it will come right back up. So if you use gestures, that's how you auto hide or auto bring up the apps that are in that taskbar. I'm gonna switch back to my buttons because I like that better on the fold. Now the apps that actually show up in the taskbar at the bottom there are the same ones that are on the bottom of your phone right here. So if you wanna add an app that's not already in there, you have to click and drag it down and that's how it will end up showing up there. That's why, again, when you look at all these apps, blah, 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 they're always the same as the ones that are on here. The only different ones are the recent ones if you have those added on. So I'll just remove one just for a moment here. I'll move the Gmail one up. Maybe I wanna bring up the Tesla one. So I have my Tesla one down there. Now if I bring up uh, the apps down there, I can see all the apps now. They're, they're different now because I can see the Tesla app is the different one now and that's how you would change it if you want to add or remove apps. Another cool thing you can do with that taskbar is quickly jump within different apps. Very, very helpful to jump within apps that you may want to use. The other cool thing is you can actually multitask a lot easier too. So I got my camera app open and maybe I want to bring up my browser. So just press and hold on it and you can drag it to the left, the right, the top or the bottom. And that way you have multiple apps open really, really easy. You can do it with up to three apps. So if I swipe up a little bit again, I'm gonna cancel on that. If I swipe up a little bit again, I'll see that app and maybe I wanna bring up my Google Play Store and I can bring it right here. And now I have three apps open all at the same time. So it's a super simple way to multitask as well. And there you guys go. That is everything so far that you can do with the taskbar on the Galaxy Z Folding line. I think it's a cool feature. It's nice to have it there. If you use it and you love it, let me know what you use it for mostly. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.